right? We're on the second part of the question, which tells us to evaluate the business, the investment opportunity, okay? It's talking about this investment of 6.2 million in a new point of sales machine, right? Cash savings of 4.2 million per annum are expected in current price terms. And these are expected to increase by 8% per annum. So we're going to adjust the cash savings because each year they're increasing by 8%, all right? We're going to use the formula one plus R to the power T to get the adjusted prices. So on our table, we're going to say current price, All right, then the adjusted price. Let me make a column for these. Future value, then here we say adjusted price. So we'll say for year one, year, it's a current. So the rate we're using R is uh, 8%. So 8% is the same as 0 0.08. So we're going to have 1.08 here. And so for year one, it's going to be to the power one, 1 1.08 to the power eight, I mean to the power one. Okay, what we we get 1.08 as our answer. Then I'm going to multiply that 1.08 with 4.2. All right, so 1.08 times 4.2. What do we get? Say so for five years. What is 1.08 times uh, 4.2? Okay, then 1.08 to the power 2 times 4.2 again. One point zero eight to the power two is equal to zero point eight five seven. And multiply no. by multiply by four point two. Four point nine. Four point nine. Okay, one point zero eight. To the power three times four point two. Here it I'm getting three point six. My calculations are wrong, right? 
on your calculator, uh, the power symbol is this one here. It's one which looks like a house. Yeah, that's the one. Of maybe prank or so maybe it's my error. Uh, in year three, it's five point three. And then 1.08 to the power of 4 times 4.2 again. Year, uh, then 1.08 to the power of 5 times 4.2. Point 6.2. 6.2. Right. So these adjusted prices, we're going to use them as our cash flow because we're going to use the net present value to evaluate this investment. So we're going to make another table. Discount factor at 12%. This 12% is the weighted average cost, 13% actually. This is the weighted average cost which we calculated. Then we'll have a present value. So in year zero, all right, we're going to have negative 6.2 why because this is the money being invested so in year zero we're going to put six point two year one you're going to say four point five Year two, we are going to say 4.9. Year three, we are going to say 5.3. Year four, we are going to say 5.7. And year five, you're going to say 6.2. All right, so now for our discount factors here, we're going to use one plus R to the power negative T. So you're going to have one, one point one three in your brackets throughout. In year zero, you're going to say 1.13 to the power negative zero 
okay and that is uh, anything to the power of zero remember it is one all right in this first year you're going to say 1.13 to the power negative one Right. What value do we get? Yeah, we are going to say one point one three the power negative two. What do you get? Yeah. All right, five. Then we're going to say um, one point one three or oh, negative three. Yeah, One point one three the power negative four. Yeah. Mm, the next one looks like to be zero point five. This pattern I'm seeing here. One point one three the power negative five. <laughs> now to get the present values we're going to multiply our cash flows okay with our discount factors okay so you say 6.2 times negative uh, times one yet negative 6.2 Right, 4.5 times 0 0 0.9. 4.05. 4.05. Yes, it's 4.1. 4.1. 4.9 times 0 0.8. Three point nine two. Okay. Um, this one was was there another number so that we leave them in two decimal places, or we just keep we just keep them all in one decimal place. Which one do we feel comfortable with? Okay. So if was there another number after this one here? This 4.5 times 0 0.9. Was there another number? Okay. 5.3 times 0 0.7. 3.71. Five point seven times zero point two. Yeah, I wanted to say the first one was four point zero five. So if you want to do this one, you can put zero five. Okay. Five point seven times zero point six. Zero point six eight. Six point two times zero point five. Three point one. 
3.1 okay so we're going to now total up our present values okay so that we get our net present value so i'm going to say negative six all right plus 4.05 mm -hmm. just hold on with the check on 7.5 7.5 sorry sorry 5.7 um, 3.42 someone else to check again which one is that one for seven sorry 5.7 times as 0 0.6 Okay. So you say negative 6.2 plus 4.05 plus 3.92 plus 3.71 plus 3.42 plus 3.1. So if the net present value is positive, we get 12, 12, yes, 12. positive. All right, so you're going to say since the net present value is positive, Then the investment must be 